I am such an awesome guy. I make so many videos. Brum. Hello there. Price of Reason here with a special report. It's no secret that Disney are in a real slump these days. Their movies are constantly losing money at the box office. Attendance is apparently down in their parks, while Universal, their main competitor, seems to thrive on both fronts. And due to Disney's ongoing losses, their stock has been in decline as well, which has led to massive layoffs within the company. While the access media would probably tell you that this is all due to the state of the economy, many paying customers would tell you that they've simply had enough of Disney's over-politicized content and activist corporate behavior. Regardless, out of all of Disney's losses, one of their biggest failures is the Disney Plus streaming service, which they've already lost billions of dollars on, and recently, they've also lost millions of subscribers. That's why in a desperate cost-cutting move, Disney recently pulled a lot of content from both Disney Plus and Hulu, which they are now using as a $1.5 billion write-off. Amidst all of this, since Bob Iger's return to the position of CEO, there has been a lot of chatter about potentially doing some type of deal with Apple. I've even heard theories about a potential merger between the companies at some future point. And since all these reports were always rather speculative, to date I haven't really bothered discussing them on my channel. But today, something changed. In a special worldwide developers conference, Apple announced the launch of their virtual reality, augmented reality headset, the Vision Pro, which according to Apple will make the Facebook Meta Oculus Quest look like a Fisher Price toy. As Apple were announcing their new product today, which they claim will be a game changer in computing and virtual reality, something interesting happened. Disney CEO Bob Iger popped up and announced that Disney is going to partner with Apple on this set. This platform will allow us to bring Disney to our fans in ways that were previously impossible. With Disney Plus integration from day one, he even presented a video showing the type of game-changing and interactive ways Apple's headset will work with Disney's content, its theme park experiences, and even sporting events. What if you could bring Disney World into your world? These are just a few of the ways we can bring Disney into your world with Apple Vision Pro. And the real question is, what does all of this mean? Now, right now, since this is a brand new development, I can only give a theory here, but I believe it's at least a somewhat reasonable one. While Disney's stock and company are in decline, Apple's stock and company are doing just fine, but there's one area where maybe they can help each other out. Apple, to date, has never quite splurged on their streaming service the way Disney has, even though they do have some high-profile shows. The problem with Apple Plus is that not many people have it. From what I understand, it currently has about 25 million paying subscribers, and its overall content slate is fairly limited. On the other hand, Disney has a giant catalog of TV shows and movies, and while a lot of their most recent releases have been complete and utter crap, their back catalog is massive, and they do unfortunately own some pretty big franchises. And even with their recent subscriber loss, Disney still has over 150 million subscribers for now. That's why perhaps some type of content partnership between Disney and Apple would actually make sense to both companies. But the next question is, does this newly announced partnership have any additional implications, or is it much ado about nothing? And my answer to that is, maybe. Let's say this content partnership between them goes well and ends up being beneficial for both parties. Perhaps this could be a basis on which a bigger partnership would be built. Could this eventually lead to Apple buying out Disney Plus or Hulu or even merging with Disney? Well, it seems too soon to determine that, but I would say that this move is a calculated one by Bob Iger, and if we see such developments down the road on some level, I wouldn't be completely surprised. After all, Disney needs money now, and Apple has it. And I assume that working with Apple on this type of partnership probably benefits Disney financially. For example, in order for Disney to create interactive experiences for Apple, such as virtual live sporting events, they're going to need money for development. Perhaps Apple would agree to subsidize this development in return for some type of exclusivity agreement. One of the factors that will really determine the future of this partnership is if Apple will have a good working relationship with Disney as a company. Also, with Apple's VR set costing $3,500 a piece, 
One has yet to see if this thing will take off. It may sound like a good idea in theory, but it could end up being a stinker like the Apple Watch. Also, as much as it's differentiating itself from Facebook's VR headset, to me, for now, it also looks kind of bulky and annoying, and who knows how popular it will be with actual consumers. If things do go smoothly and successfully, perhaps it will lead to some bigger deals between Disney and Apple down the road, but if things don't go smoothly, perhaps it will lead to nothing at all. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. In any case, Bob Iger's presence here did give me a sense that at least something was happening. What exactly that something is? What will it lead to? Well, only time will tell. What I do find interesting is that in the past, Bob Iger was a member of Apple's board, and he only left in 2019 when Disney were going to launch their own streaming service, because at the time, Apple saw his involvement in that service a conflict of interest, especially since they had their own Apple TV being launched. The fact that now everybody's willing to work together, and they already have a past working history and seemingly a good rapport, certainly opens up the door to a lot of possibilities. What do you think about this new Disney-Apple partnership? Are you excited to see it? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel, and also clicking on that wonderful notification bell. Thanks for watching, my friends. Thank you, and good day! I am such an awesome guy, I make so many videos. Brum.